Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. All right, welcome back, everybody. 641 on this Monday morning. Dow Industrial's down about eight and a half points so far. It's only been open about 12 minutes. Keep an eye on that for you from New York. In the face of recession and a housing crisis, economists are now expecting another down year for 2009. Joining us right now to talk about real estate market trends for next year, Matt Badiata. Thanks for joining us, Matt, first of all. Good morning. All right, let's get right to it because we're hearing everywhere we read, everywhere we see dim projections again for 2009. What's that going to mean for everybody? 2009 in San Diego is going to mean uh, pretty much more of the same. We're going to oh. see a lot more foreclosures, unfortunately. We're going to start to see uh, uh, commercial short sales and foreclosures, office buildings. Uh, that's going to be the new thing you're going to see in the news. But we're going to be approaching a bottom is the good news in San Diego. When is that coming? Because that's what everybody's waiting uh, for. We're a ways away. But the prices, really? yeah, well, I, don't, I don't see our market rebounding for, I don't think, till 2011, candidly. However, the that's prices, it's a ways away, but the yeah. prices are going to get... Low enough, and interest rates are getting low are, are low now, obviously, because of what the Fed has done. And uh, so we are approaching a bottom. But, but the, the main point is we're going to see a lot more in the way of foreclosures. And all the lowering of the key interest rates, all the bailouts, a lot of people are assuming all the things that the federal government is doing right now should help something. And it's we heard help. about the midpoint of 09 being maybe the bottom. You're saying not so much. Uh, you know, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't yeah. know. But I can tell you that there's a lot more in the way of foreclosures and, sh and uh, coming down the pike. And what I'm trying to kind of beat the drum and let people know about is that for that you do have options to avoid foreclosure we could we could flip a switch tomorrow and stop every foreclosure in San Diego County if people just knew their options and have folks learned their lessons from the last couple of months as to how to handle avoiding the no. foreclosure or is it still kind of there's a downward so spot? much there's so much misinformation out there about uh, about foreclosure and short sales and so forth we've started a website that I want to recommend everyone it's called sure. the San Diego mortgage helpline at San Diego mortgage helpline dot com okay and uh, homeowners can go there and just get their options. They can speak with a foreclosure prevention counselor and find out what their options are to avoid foreclosure because it's completely unnecessary. And what are some of the options? Because I know a lot of people, I've heard that we have to adapt to this market. That's kind of, it's really unprecedented for so many people, it's not just for sellers, but for buyers, for yeah. agents, for everybody. Yeah, I, I said about uh, a year and a half ago that 2009 was going to be the year of the short sale. Right. And it needs to be the year of the short sale because we need to stop all these foreclosures. They destroy the, the local economy, they're horrible for the people that go through foreclosure, and they're horrible for our national economy sure. with our mortgage-backed securities. So people have options, which are they can do a loan modification or they can do a short sale. They have a lot of different options, but there's so much misinformation out there that people just don't know what to do, and so they do nothing, which a, is the worst thing, obviously. A few months ago, people didn't know what a short sale was, and now they're right. realizing some of, some of the folks that are afraid of the short sale because they say it takes five six months even to it get does, the It does take, well that's as a buyer. It, you have yeah. to be very patient right. as a okay. buyer. Yeah, that's because the banks are so overwhelmed. They haven't prepared for what's what's happened and uh, they're just completely overwhelmed. But it is a doable thing. The lenders are getting more and more motivated and if you're upside down on your home, if you can't make your payments, you have options which are a loan modification or a short sale. The absolute worst thing you can do for your financial future hmm. and in general is, is to let your home go to foreclosure and it's totally so needle, unnecessary. And needless to say, Matt, we've all had a crash course. We've had so many of these D words lately, the downturn, devaluation, debt covenants, delinquency. We've had to just kind of learn everything all at once and it's just yeah. kind of overwhelming for a lot of people. You know, the reason we started the San Diego Mortgage Helpline is you can go on the internet for three hours and read completely conflicting information <laughs> on what, you know, the impact of a short sale, how foreclosure works, how it hits your credit, etc. And you don't know what's right and what's wrong. So this is just a clearinghouse of information. They can either go to our website at battyatta.com or the San Diego Mortgage Helpline. But people do have options. That's the important thing. A lot of options. Hopefully people will educate themselves because uh, a lot of folks are suffering out there. Matt, thanks yeah. so much for joining us. My this pleasure. Morning. All right.